Hello YouTube, um, well for a change it's not raining, uh, we had a monsoon yesterday, uh, floods in the centre of Peterborough which uh, I think hits the what they call the Rivergate Centre which <laughs> was an appropriate name place because uh, the road was completely flooded and uh, I think Asda as well got completely flooded but today the rain stopped so um, yeah my, my task today, something I've been meaning to do for a little while and uh, that's polish a turd basically join me so the thing in question is um yes the uh, the diesel as you know i'm not a huge fan of diesels but um it's a car the wife wanted and uh, it's economical and it's practical and it's all the things that a car should be but all the things i don't particularly like so today i'm going to lift the bonnet and um, i'm going to give it a bit of a clean underneath um yes it's mainly plastic but i'm going to make it look nice so, as I say, it's a job I've been meaning to do for a little while because it's a bit dusty and it's a bit, um, well, it's filthy under here to be honest. So, yeah, I'm just going to give it a quick going over. Um, I think the weapon today will probably be the uh, pink stuff spray. Right, let's get some stuff and let's get cleaning. So, if you've seen previous videos, and I think one was cleaning the tips on this particular car actually, um, pink stuff, it's by Star Drops. Um, Star Drops has been around for years. Uh, we used to get soda crystals from them because they were really good but they're now doing a range called the pink stuff and um, it's pretty much a multi-purpose cleaner so let's give it a go So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of crud coming out of it. Um, I think at some point this car's probably been near the sea, or it's been somewhere where it's quite sandy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's been down a dust track or on a farm or something. But it's always, uh, it's always seen quite a dusty car. But um, it's coming out, so uh, let's do some more. Now I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but that's come up really well. Um, you can polish a turd. <laughs> that looks really clean. I'm impressed. Um, so I guess now I've um, I've got to do the rest. <laughs> Bear with. Well, I'm not sure how well this comes out on camera, but hopefully it does show that uh, that is a vast improvement. Um, I am surprised, I'll be honest, but I shouldn't be because, as I said, I think at some point this has been a coast car um, and it's got lots of ingrained sand into it. And I say that because obviously when I was cleaning all this up, um, a lot of uh, sand residue was coming out of the components and also the vinyl roof. Um, I've had a uh, two or three goes at really cleaning it but if I'm getting really close you'll see and it's worse when you look at it from above uh, from the house there's still a lot of ingrained sand in it um, just doesn't want to shift um, so yeah that's the problem with coast cars <laughs> they get covered in sand but anyway getting back to what I was doing um, yeah that looks a lot cleaner and a lot tidier and a lot of these plastics came up really well very impressed uh, the expansion tank there came up well even the fuel filter housing came up pretty well 
Uh, and of course I got really carried away, did the scuttle panel and did all around the headlights and the slam panel and yeah, pretty much everything. But um, yeah, I mean it's hidden under a bonnet, it's a complete pointless waste of time but hey, it's clean, that's the main thing. Anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to you joining me for the next videos, whatever they may be. Take it easy YouTube, catch you later.